News alert. That incredible breaking news right now at nine. Lachelle Jordan, the woman that we've been showing you her picture all week long, the missing Cleveland EMT found alive. Her friends and family relieved this morning that she is safe. Thanks so much for joining us here at nine. I'm Shannon Smith. We even have surveillance video showing the moment that she walked into a convenience store in Cleveland to try to get help. We are getting up to the minute updates this morning. That's why we have team coverage right now at nine to bring it all to you. Let's go first though to 19's Vic Gideon who joins us live from that convenience store Vic where she was asking a store clerk for help. That's right. She had been missing for more than five days. It was just before midnight here on Euclid Avenue. It's the open pantry here in the Collinwood neighborhood just off of East 152nd Street. She walked into the store. She asked for a cell phone. She called 911. Let's take a look at that surveillance video. You can see her here. She's walking up to the store. She had been coming from a neighboring store or an area. We're not sure exactly where she was before that. Walked into the store. She asked for the phone. She called 911 and the clerk realized that something was wrong. He said that her shirt apparently was torn. He said there might have been burn marks on it. She seemed a little disheveled and a little disorient, disoriented. And here's what the clerk said about their conversation. What did she look like? Looked like uh, nervous, very tired, and someone like a fight with her, and like that. She says someone tried to kill her. Now, Michelle Jordan had been missing since Saturday at about 6 o'clock and again showed up here around midnight. It was a search that had captivated the entire city. There was a missing persons report. Obviously, there was leaflets and flyers up all over the neighborhoods, a $5,000 reward. It even attracted national attention. But again, it has been to some extent resolved. We have no idea what happened during those five days, but we do know she was found alive and that she is now safe, taken to the Cleveland Clinic. Reporting live from Collinwood, Vic Gideon, 19 News. Vic, thank you. We continue our live team coverage this morning as well. In fact, we're getting reaction uh, for from uh, family members, also from Cleveland EMS, the union that we have been talking to all week long about her disappearance. We are hearing from the president. He's telling us we actually spoke with him earlier this week, Mark Barrett. Barnett, he says that we are happy she's been found safe and alive. We ask that she be given time to heal. We remain ready to support her and her family in any way that we can. We just got that statement from, again, this is Mark Barrett. He is the from the Cleveland Association of Rescue Employees. But we're getting more reaction, too, including neighbors from the area where Lachelle Jordan has been living with her twin sister. Let's go live now to 19's Katie Tursick, who is in the Glenville neighborhood in Cleveland. And Katie, what are neighbors saying? Hey, good morning, Shannon. Neighbors are just overjoyed. They are so happy to hear this news that she has been found safe. They keep on saying, what if this was my child? What if this was uh, my loved one? Anything like that, because that feeling of somebody missing, there's there's no worse uh, feeling and not knowing where they could be and, and if and when they will come home. So here it is very positive and uh, people have also said great things about the Jordan girls. Uh, they continue to just say that they would uh, you know see have interactions with them things like that but I do want to make note of some suspicious behavior that did occur outside uh, of the home I should say inside of the home now Rochelle the sister of Lachelle she told us that a window in her home had been shot out now Saturday morning that is when that happened other than that uh, though you know we're going to continue to learn more about this really because in this part of the story it's that what next factor let's get back to those neighbors take a listen and when I woke up this morning and saw it you know, I was like wow you know that's beautiful that she's found and that's so amazing I'm so glad I was praying for it I was hoping that she would be found but that's amazing I mean what else can you say you know I mean I'm happy for her, yeah happy for them you know happy for the kids but I have kids too so
You can hear the compassion in these neighbors, that heartfelt response, and just a genuine sigh of relief. I also want to say that when we talk about hearing from city officials, so Lachelle also had another sister who Mayor Bibb had told me that was the chief prosecutor of the city of Cleveland. And when I had spoke to him earlier this week, he had also said that he was saying, my thoughts and prayers are with this family, and CPD was doing everything that they could to search for Lachelle. Now we have Lachelle that she has been found safe. Of course, we're going to learn more as this story really does develop. Shannon.